So if you want to run a local and open source AI model directly on your Android phone, then I highly recommend to use an app called Google AI Edge Gallery. And so far, this is a solid choice. It is easy to use. And I have made plenty of videos of some use cases that are possible with this app. But this is not the only option that you have on Google Play Store because right now you can use another app called Anything LM. And by the way, maybe some of you are quite familiar with this name because this is actually a quite popular desktop app that lets you run some open source or air models like DeepSeek, Gemma, or Quen, and many others. And now it is available via Google Play Store and you can install this app on your Android phone. And in many ways, this version is actually superior to Google Air Edge Gallery because on anything LM, it is able to perform various tasks like it can do a web search, it can access content on calendar, on some documents. So it is actually a bit more useful than Google AI Edge Gallery. So let me show you how you can install this app and how you can chat with a local AI model and perhaps you can even use it to search content on the internet. So what you need to do is you have to open your Android phone and just navigate to Google Play Store. And by the way, I think I have to mention that right now, Anything LM is actually still in beta, so it is not quite perfect and uh, there's going to be some problems along the way depending on the phone that you're using. Some people might experience smooth experience, but some others might have to deal with uh, problems like bugs or glitch because again, it is still in beta, but I'm, hope I'm hoping that the developer behind this app will fix uh, major problems and eventually this is going to be a very usable app. Now, uh, the app still being downloaded and later I'm going to show you how you can set up the AI so it can be operated via this AI tool. Okay, so the app is now installed on my phone and you can open it. So if you're opening the app for the first time, it's going to ask you to choose what model that you want to use. There are three options right now, but actually you can select other models later. But for now, you have to select whether you want to use a small, medium, or bigger model. And since my phone is very old, I'm going to be using a lightweight model. Okay, now it's going to download an AI model and I'm going to just click continue with download. The size is around 600 megabytes, so it's not very big. And there is this question, this is just a um, survey, it's not going to affect the setting. So you can answer with any option, it doesn't really matter. And just click experience anything LM. All right, there you go. It's setting up your first workspace, but it's not usable yet because the model is still being downloaded as you can see it's still trying to download the model and only after that you can start chatting with this AI model so it might take what some time because my network's kind of slow but i'll just skip forward and show you the next step okay so the model has been downloaded and to test the model you can just chat ai with any message so let's say i want to just greet ai with the message hi there send a message and usually when you're sending a message the ai might need to be initialized first this is actually a standard process and the duration can be quite long actually compared to google air edge gallery even when you're running the same model so one cutting criticism that i think is valid for this app is it is not very good when it comes to performance so you have to wait like maybe 30 seconds up to a minute just for the model to be initialized. And in other apps like Google Air Edge Gallery, usually it only takes like five to 10 seconds to initialize a model. Okay, now it is a thinking model. That's why it's actually going to show you the thinking process before giving you the final answer. Now, I'm going to ask a simple question and I want to utilize its search web search capability. Now, to make sure that it is able to search content on the internet, you have to ensure that your phone is connected to the internet because it is actually using the power of your device. And after that, go to settings and then click tools and enable all the settings like web search, web scrapping, get time, get location, summarization, etc. So those agentic features are necessary to make AI can do more on your phone. But then again, this entire model is being powered by the local hardware. And not to mention, it is also very good for privacy. Okay, I'm going to send a simple message like I want to ask what is the current or let's say the today's uh, Apple stock 
price. What's today? I want to make the question as simple as possible because it is a small model. Now just send a message and hopefully it can call some agentic features. It's going to call some functions and will access tools like web search and web scraping. That's the two tools that are necessary to make AI able to navigate the web. Again, it's taking like forever, maybe because my phone is very slow but also i believe the app is not fully optimized like let's say in google edge gallery i kept making comparison with that because that's i think a very good standard so finally it is start thinking and will start uh, giving me the answer now i'll just skip a while and show you the final answer from this local ai Okay, so it took about two minutes to give me the, this answer. It's actually thinking a lot just for answering a simple request, which just want to know what is the current stock price of Apple. So it is doing a lot of analysis and giving all sort of, you know, fundamentals, technical answers like that. It just too complicated, but basically it doesn't answer my question. There is no mention about the stock price. It only says something like market cap, enterprise value, the return on asset, etc. So it's not exactly what I'm looking for. So maybe uh, if I'm doing it again with a different problem, it's able to give me a much more clear answer but i'm still curious whether or not the answer is actually representative of the current state of apple as the company so as far as i know the market cap of apple is not 1.5 trillion so i'm kind of worried that this is actually an outdated data but i can confirm that this ai is able to do a web search if you check the thinking process it does visit plenty of websites it uh, calls the appropriate functions to scrap certain websites so overall it is able to access website the same way like uh, perplexity chat or gemini but the quality of the answer is maybe not good enough so if i go to let's say google and search for apple market cap you'll see that it's going to be different there you go it is not the same 3.8 trillion US, US dollar while the answer from anything lm says 1.52 trillion this is not the correct information and i don't know about the other things but I can tell that the answer is not accurate and also it is not actually giving me the answer that I want. So not quite perfect, but I would say it's partly because I was using the Quen uh, 3 with 0 0.6 billion parameter. It is very, very small and that's also because my phone is very old. So if you have a more capable smartphone, I do recommend to use a more powerful AI model and hopefully it will give you better chance of getting the correct answer. And by the way, if you want to get more models, you can scroll down and you will see options like Gemma model. There is also the Llama, Quen, Lucy, and possibly other models in the future. So these models are actually a bit bigger and also they are able to utilize tool, co uh, tool calling like the web search and web scrapping. And right now, I think it is only using the phone hardware to perform various agentic tasks and that's why it is very slow but i'm hoping that in the future they will utilize third-party mcp servers so the search process can be a lot faster but i think for now this is quite a decent alternative for some people who want to use a local air model that is able to do search and also uh, read documents or do some agentic tasks directly on your Android phone. So that's basically how you can use anything LM and I hope you find this video to be useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.